one of the biggest problems today in, our, in this HDMI business is that people think it's all zeros and ones, it's all digital, it doesn't matter, just buy the cheapest one you can get. And the internet's not helping either. You know, you got 19 year old kids telling everybody, just buy the cheapest one, it doesn't matter. So that's why we have to really educate uh, our customers on why uh, the proper HDMI cables from Monster Cable is the ones you should be presenting every single time. We made that easy for the customer with our speed, badge, speed badges that we now have on all our cables. So let's take a look at this machine that we have here. We can actually show how actually cables, and can test some cables and how they perform. This machine that we see here on my left hand side will actually now replicate different bandwidths. I can actually make it do uh, standard speed at 720p, 8-bit, 60 hertz, or I can make it do all the way to 1440p, 12-bit, 60 hertz. And when we do that, we will have different levels of gigabits per second. And Einstein, Einstein's one of our engineers here at Monster Cable. He can tell you a little bit about what those lanes and now how that numbers, all that means to the customer. All right, thanks, Terry. So standard speed, 720p or 1080i, equates to 2.23 gigabits per second total. But in HDMI, we have three lanes, three video lanes. So if you divide uh, 2.23 gigabits per second on uh, standard, standard speed um, HDMI cables, you get 742 megabits per second, which is shown on this Enritsu generator here. The Enritsu generator generates, uh, simulates the exact same uh, bit waveforms that come from your Blu-ray or PS3, go through the HDMI cable and also through this analyzer. This an analyzer analyzes the integrity of the signal coming from the HDMI cable. Thanks, Einstein. And so what you're going to eventually see on that last piece of it is an eye pattern. And so in that eye pattern, what you're going to be looking for is where the zeros are at the bottom, the ones are at the top, and this is the transition point between zeros and one. And if I can keep that nice and clean and not touch that eye that's in the center, I get the best possible picture. That's what I'm trying to achieve. It's almost like playing darts backwards. You don't want to actually hit the bullseye. You want to stay outside the, the bullseye. So what we're going to do is go ahead and test the cable here. I actually have a three meter what we call an internet cable. You can just find this cable on the internet or just anywhere. It's just a brand X cable. And, and Einstein's going to go ahead and hook this up to the machine and we're now going to run this at standard speed to see how this actual cable performs. Now what you're going to see on this as Einstein hooks this up, this machine is actually going to be uh, measuring for impedance and intra-pair skew and uh, crosstalk, all kinds of different electrical parameters and then it comes up with that final eye pattern that we talked about earlier. So let's take a look at this cable. Actually you can see on the machine or right here on the, on the actual display itself that the uh, bit waveform looks nice and clean. It even has an eye. So this, this guy on the internet is doing a good job I guess. Well that's where our problem is. People are confused thinking that hey if uh, I can pass 720p 8 bit 60 hertz with that cable for 15 bucks, why not? But the problem is they're going to eventually go to a Blu-ray. And when we go to Blu-ray, look what happens now. We go to 1080p 8 bit 60 hertz. This is now at 4.95 gigabits per second. And Einstein now has changed it to 1.65 gigabits per second per lane. And when we've done that, look what happens now to that 3 meter cable. It actually fails the test. It doesn't do the job it's supposed to do. So that's why we've got to make sure customers understand that not all high definition is the same and not all cables are the same as well. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and hook up a monster HDMI cable at 4 meters. Uh, previously the other product was only 3 meters and that's one of the other problems with bandwidth as well is lengths of cables. So in this case, it's kind of an unfair advantage because now we've added one more meter to this particular cable to try to do the same thing that the other one did. So let's see how Monster actually does. So Einstein now has this at high speed. We're not worrying about standard speed. We know we can do that. Let's see how we do. So if you notice, the Monster cable does actually pass the test. Very nice, clean bit waveform, very nice eye. And also notice that the bit waveform is very thin. So it means it's very little jitter getting inside this cable. So we can probably go even higher. Einstein, what is this cable rated to do? How high can we go? Well, Terry, this 4 meter HDMI cable is rated at ultra high speed, which is 10.2 gigabits per second. But let's bump it up all the way to ultimate speed, 14.9 gigabits per second total. Einstein, can we do that? I hope so. All right, well, let's just take a look and see what we can do. If you look up on the chart now, we are literally, even though this cable is rated to do greater than 10.2 gigabits per second, 
We're going to go ahead and try and see if we can do ultimate high speed at 14.9 gigabits per second, which is 1440p, 12-bit color, 60 hertz refresh rate. What's really cool about this is that 14.9 gigabits per second, this is at 4.98 gigabits per, lane, per second per lane. So if you take a look at this, this is actually greater, this one lane is greater than the total of high speed at 4.95 gigabits per second. That's a major amount of bandwidth. That's like having three high speed cables, HDMI cables, in one cable. So we're gonna go into really tomorrow's technology. Products are not even really available yet. So we're gonna see if this cable not only can work today, but also work tomorrow. So let's take a look. Let's see what happens. Going through the system and, whoa, actually still passed the test. Notice that the bit waveform is starting to squeeze down a little bit, but that's because there's so much bandwidth going down this cable.